In this video, we are going to have a look at how to create a virtual host using MAMP Pro. But before we do this, if you followed from the previous video, first of all, let's undo all of the changes that we've done to the files and so on. So first of all, I'm going to stop the basic version of MAMP, so stop servers. There we go, I need to provide a password. And that should now stop service, which is all good. I'm going to quit this basic version of MAMP Pro and I'm going to navigate to the file. Uh, so CD, it's going to be private, etc, as you may remember. Uh, we've been editing the file host there. So I'm going to quickly use sudo because it needs to be open with administrative purposes in order to be able to save changes. So sudo hosts, uh, sorry, wrong, nano first because we need to use the editor and then hosts. If we hit enter, obviously we are asked to provide a password. And now let's remove this entry for PHP course.dev. Just simply use your, uh, use your arrows on a keyboard to obviously navigate to this line and then simply delete or backspace if, you, if you're using, depending on which side you start deleting from. Then control X, Y and enter. Now this file has been, uh, changes to this file has been, have been reversed so we can navigate to the other file which we've uh, modified. So CD, applications, there we go for MAMP, then we have conf file and it was Apache. Now ls to see all of the files and the file we were modifying was the httpd.conf. So nano this time without administrative purposes, httpd.conf, hit enter and let's scroll down control V, uh, hit it as many times as you need to, to in order to get to the line we need to modify include virtual host, there we go, this is the line, so using arrows on your keyboard, navigate to this line and apply the hash symbol again. On Mac to create the hash symbol, simply hit Alt and number three. Uh, otherwise, you can simply select it, basically one of these hashes, copy it, if you obviously can't do it on, on the keyboard, and if it's not then, then obviously Command V or simply paste with your mouse. And now we just hit uh, Control X to exit, yes to save the changes and the file name stays the same so simply return or enter on your keyboard. Next one was the file inside of the extra folder, so CD extra and now LS, you can see HTTPD V host file which we've modified earlier, so nano HTTPD V host scroll right to the bottom of it and remove all these lines with the virtual host which we've added. So just using a backspace, all these lines have to go. Okay, so now all good. Control X, Y on your keyboard and return or enter to save it. So now all of the changes have been reversed. We are back to square one when we just basically installed a uh, mump. So now what we're going to do, we can close the terminal and navigate to one of the folders, which is going to be applications, mump pro and double click mump pro dot app. And yes, initial initialization, let's click on OK, because we open in this uh, application for the first time, then provide the password. And we are using demo version. Obviously, once you've registered uh, uh, MAMP Pro, then you're not going to be seeing this uh, dialog anymore. But for the time being, I'm just using the uh, trial. So clicking on OK. And again, password. And that should start our MAMP Pro. And there we go. The ports are changed to 80 and so on. Set, I want to keep the default uh, ports. Obviously, I click this one. If you see this MAMP Pro with the MAMP ports, which would be these ones, then simply click, simply click on the set ports to 80, uh, 40, uh, 443 and 3306 to make sure that we use it, that we don't have to provide the, uh, the port in the URL, basically. Okay, so once this has been done, we go to hosts and now have a look at how simple is this going to be. Click on plus button right at the bottom which when you when you mouse over this, you'll see the create new host tooltip. 
is showing up. So click on this one, provide a host vir uh, virtual host name, which was which is what was it? it was PHP course dot dev, and then point it to a directory. So click on this directory icon here. We want to go to desktop PHP course. Choose and guess what? And that's everything you have to do. So now we just click on start. Yes, we want to save changes. That will take a second or so. There we go. And that turns to stop. Apache in my SQL is running. If I go back to PHP course dev, hit enter or refresh the page, you can see it's still working. But now it's working uh, thanks to the MUMP Pro rather than free version. If you want to add another host, you just do follow the same things as basically plus, specify the name, point to a folder, job done. So that's how easy it is to do it with MUMP Pro. Obviously, it comes with a price. At the moment, it costs about £39, pounds, British pounds. Uh, it's entirely up to you. If you struggle with the free version and can afford MUMP Pro, just go for it because obviously it's going to make your life much easier. You can also select from different versions of PHP. As you can see, if you go to the PHP uh, tab, uh, whichever version is currently available with the latest uh, release of MAMP Pro, then obviously you can select it from here and so on.